Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's safety brief. This week, we're going to be looking at the top 10 safety risks that we're seeing in oil and gas extraction. As way of introduction, my name is Michael Bauer. I lead, lead up EHS Industry Solutions here at Compliance Quest, and it'll be my pleasure to take you through uh, what we're seeing in oil and gas uh, industry today. First of all, some overall, some overall trends that we're seeing within the industry. Typical solution landscape that we're seeing in the oil and gas industry is in many places where we're uh, working with oil and gas customers, we're seeing many silent systems rather than a unified EHS or QHSC system. We're still seeing a very heavy reliance on paper forms, manual entry and spreadsheets. Um, we're seeing low uh, smartphone and tablet utilization. We're seeing a long process to produce reporting for management and board review. Uh, typically, a couple people, that's really their full-time job just to roll up reports. And we're seeing a safety culture, heavy investment in safety, of course, but a safety culture that's enforced by rigorous manual process rather than automation and technology. And we're seeing continued challenges with delivering just-in-time just safe operating procedures and training. With that, I'm going to go ahead and go into a summary of a report that OSHA has come out with that details the top 10 oil and gas extraction safety risks. Number one, vehicle collisions. So wells are often located in remote areas requiring long distances to get to the sites. As a result, highway vehicle crashes are, are the, actually the leading cause of oil and gas extraction worker facilities. Roughly four in 10 workers killed on the job in oil and gas are killed as a result of a highway vehicle incident. Number two, uh, struck by, caught in, caught between. So three out of five oil and gas extraction activities are caused by struck by, caught in, or caught between hazards. So workers are exposed to these type of hazards from multiple sources, including the moving vehicles, equipment, falling equipment, and high pressure lines. Number three, explosions and fires. So as you would imagine, workers in oil and gas industries face the risk of fires and explosion due to the ever-present um, risk of ignition of flammable vapors or gases. Number four, falls. So workers are required uh, you know, to access platforms and equipment located high above the ground. Um, and OSHA requires fall protection to prevent falls from the masks, drilling platform, or other elevated equipment. Number five, the confined spaces risk. So workers are often required to enter confined spaces such as petroleum or other storage tanks, the mud pits, reserve pits, and other excavated areas, sand storage containers, and other confined spaces around the, the wellhead. Safety hazards associated with confined space include ignition of the flammable vapors or gases. Okay, number six, ergonomic hazards. So oil and gas workers are exposed to ergonomic related injury, injury risks, such as lifting heavy items, bending, reaching overhead, pushing and pulling heavy loads, working awkward body postures and performing the same or similar uh, tasks repetitively. Number seven, high pressure lines and equipment. So we need to mitigate these hazards from compressed gases or from high pressure lines. And what often uh, we've got to mitigate against is internal erosion of these lines, which can then result in leaks or line bursts, exposing the workers to high pressure hazards from the compressed gas or other high pressure lines. Okay, number eight, electrical and other hazardous energy. So workers can be exposed to uncontrolled electrical, mechanical, hydraulic, or other sources of hazardous energy if their equipment has not, has not been properly designed, installed, or maintained properly. Number nine, chemical handling and exposure. I think gas workers are exposed to a wide variety of chemicals, so it's, it's we must ensure Proper handling is in place for the chemical handling, the exposure, and chemical storage. And then finally, number 10, uh, ever-present machine hazards. So oil and gas extraction workers are exposed to a wide variety of equipment, 
and might be injured if they are struck or caught between these unguarded machines. So just kind of finally, uh, as we kind of close things out here, as we look at these top 10 things, one of the one of the key things that oil and gas companies are using to mitigate these risks and reduce their hazards uh, is to move to a digital platform and a, a digital EHS platform. What an EHS platform can do, such as the one that's offered by Compliance Quest, is that it helps manage the enterprise risk of the workers' workplace safety and potential adverse environmental impact. So you've got everything in one place. You get a 360 view of everything that's going on, whether it's incidents, near misses. And now with this in place, you're able to reduce the likelihood of workplace injuries by proactively managing risk and implementing controls. So rather than just chasing after react, being reactive, it allows you to get in front of some of these things. A proper EHS platform will now mitigate your compliance risks, uh, reducing your likelihood of fines and penalties, and negative potential PR events. The proper EHS system uh, will help improve your ability to win contracts, lower insurance premiums, um, as you're able to show higher safety scores um, that are that result from an enterprise EHS or QHS system. And then lastly, a proper EHS system helps in, enhance team productivity and efficiency. So with that, I'd like to thank you for listening to today's safety brief. Hope that you, this, hopefully this was helpful to you. Feel free to reach out to your team if we can help you with your safety needs, uh, particularly in the oil and gas, uh, oil and gas, as we have a very uh, dedicated and experienced oil and gas practice, and we'd be glad to help. Thanks again.